Thank you guys for coming in. Share the broadcast with your friends, please. I appreciate it. Share the broadcast. Thank you for coming in. Go ahead and put those hearts up there. Let me know that you are viewing with me. Go ahead and put them up there. M. Leela, 1976, thank you for joining. Go ahead and put the hearts up there. That lets me know that you are viewing. I do appreciate it if you haven't subscribed to my page. And if this is your first time coming in, I appreciate it. God bless you. Stand up. I am standing up. God bless you. Thank you for coming in. Share the broadcast. If you haven't subscribed to my page, I'm going to ask you to hit the subscribe button. That way you will get the, uh, you will know when I'm on. And go ahead and hit that uh, notification button. So every time that I'm on, you will get the notification. Go ahead and share, share, share. Sharing is caring. You're watching Apostle Karen Proctor. Come on in. Go ahead and share the broadcast. I appreciate it. If you share the broadcast, then I can go ahead and share with you with what's on my heart and what's on my mind. Mm -hmm. Let me know where you are viewing from. Come on, let's share. It's a blessed day. At 16433 has joined. Thank you for coming in. Share the broadcast with your friends. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Come on, put those thumbs up there. That lets me know that you are in the house. At WJCGYS. Oh, that's long. Thank you for sharing. Yes. Welcome, Marlin. Marlin, meet me. Thank you for coming in. At Baba. All the fives, thank you for coming in. Thank you for sharing the broadcast with your friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. This is a beautiful day. This is the day the Lord God has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Come on, put those hearts up, put those thumbs up. That lets me know that you are here. Sharing is caring. If it's your first time, Go ahead and put a one in the comment section that lets me know that it's your first time. You can also type up there where you are viewing me from. God bless you today. Um, I want to talk about the strong arm of God. Amen. We're going to talk about the strong arm of God. The might and the power of God. Come on, are, are you there? Let me know that you are. That you are tuned in. No, I do not own the rights to the music. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, I want to read for you Psalms 94. I'm going to read Psalms 94. I'm going to start at... Verse 9, it says, He that planted the ear, shall he not hear? He that formed the eye, shall he not see? Mm -hmm. He that planted the ear, shall he not hear? He that formed the eye, shall he not see? The word of the Lord is already blessed. May it add a blessing to those um, that listen. Amen. So, Father, we thank you. We praise you. We bless you today. We honor you. We thank you for this privilege of sharing the word of God. Thank you 
for coming in. We thank you for this privilege of sharing the word of God. We pray that it will be a blessing in the lives of your people. We pray that it will bring encouragement. I move myself out of the way, Father God, that the Holy Spirit will come in and speak through me like only the Holy Spirit can do. And I will be careful to give you all the honor, the glory, and the praise because it belongs to you, Father. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, we're talking about the strong arm of God. And you know, sometimes it seems that we are uh, oblivious to the fact that God is still living, uh, to the fact that God is still pretty much alive. Why? Because we see the wicked spreading itself like a green bay tree. And it seems as if we are not uh, prospering the way that, thank you for the hearts, it seems like we are not prospering in the way that we think we ought to prosper. So we, again, we are oblivious to the fact that God is still living. Uh, he's very much alive and he is not dead. Uh, I just want to encourage you. You already know that God is everywhere. He's omnipresent. Yes, God is omnipresent. He do not sleep, nor does he slumber. God does not sleep, nor does he slumber. Thank you, Koji Kur Jr. for inviting your followers. Thank you, Sugar Spice and Pastor BJ1. Thank you guys for coming in. Uh, I was just saying that sometimes we feel like God is uh, not in tune. In other words, he's not in tune to what's going on around us and what's going on with us. And it's, it's some people seem to think that God is dead and, and God is sleeping because of what they may be going through personally or what is going on in the world. But again, I want to tell you that God is everywhere. He is omnipresent. Uh-huh. He's where you are. He's where I am. He's everywhere. He sits high and he looks low and his eyes are in the four corners of the world. Hallelujah. Doesn't matter what uh, it seems may be going on. God is very much aware of what is going on with you. God is very much concerned and he is aware what is going on in your community, in your neighborhood, on your job, in your ministry, in your business. God is alert. He is not sleeping. He is not sleeping. He is not slack concerning his promises as some men may count him to be. No, he is aware. He is in tune to what is going on. Even when the wicked seem to be getting away with evil, it seems as if they are getting away with evil. But can I tell you today that nobody gets away with nothing? And that goes for me. I get away with nothing without God knowing and without God seeing. Thank you for the hearts again. That lets me know that you are in agreement with me. It is it's it is as if you are saying amen. It is as if you are clapping your hand. Nobody get away with nothing. I don't care what it seem like. <laughs> it may seem like the evil is weak, uh, winning, but they are not. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Nobody gets away with nothing. Hallelujah. And as I stated through Psalms number 94 and verse 9, it says, he that planted the ear. Uh-huh. So who plant your ear? Who create the ear on people? It is God Almighty. It is the creator. He is the creator. So in other words, he that planted the ear. You mean to tell me that he doesn't hear what is going on? He hears everything. Yes, he does. Even when it seemed like uh, 
Some people are getting away, even it, when it seems like the wicked is getting away with their wicked devices. No, he that planted the ear, he planted an ear and he cannot hear. Come on, somebody. No, we don't serve a dead God. We serve a living God as Christians, that is, because I do understand that some people do serve dead gods. They, the Bible says to that, they serve gods that have ears but they cannot hear. They have a mouth, but they cannot speak. They have eyes, but they cannot hear. So in other words, some people are serving a idol God, statues and all of that, Buddha and whatever it is that they may be worshiping. Come on. And I'm not here to knock anybody, but one thing I am here to is lift up the name of the Lord. I'm not a politician, so I'm not trying to sound politically correct. I am an apostle. I am a preacher in the Lord's church. Amen. So he that have an ear... He can hear everything that is going on. Uh-huh. We may think that we can say things and God not hear it. And the Bible says he that formed the eye. Uh-huh. He is the one that came up with the design for mankind. So he that planted the eye, who plants the eye on a human being? It is God. He say he that uh form the eye shall he not see yes god sees everything it is no he leave no stones unturned it doesn't matter what it may look like what it may appear to uh that evil person that because you think that you have gotten away with something that god does not see you no god sees everything he hears everything he uh he sees everything he knows everything he's omnipresent omnipresent is in the same every place at the same time and somebody may be saying well god uh it doesn't seem like you know what's going on yes god know what is going on amen and so that's why he tell us not to become weary and well doing for in due season you shall reap if you faint not now that's talking to the believers now the flip side of that is for those that feel like you are doing something <laughs> that's wrong that's injustice Come on, somebody, and you feel like you have gotten away with it or you're going to get away with it. I want to let you know today you're not getting away with anything because God sees everything. And some of us, as some of you and some of, and even me, sometimes we get a little weary sometimes because we look at the evil. We look at the injustice. We look at those that oppress the people of God, those that oppress the uh, the widows, those that uh, oppress the offering, those that oppress the poor, and we feel as if they are getting away because it seemed like that they are prospering. But the Bible tells us through Psalms 37 and verse 1, he says, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity for they will soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb he said trust in the lord and do good and so shall thy dwell in the land and verily thou shall be fed so in other words you don't have to compare yourself with someone else and feel like that person have a leg up on you and they are not doing uh what god requires of them but yet and still it seems as if they're prospering and you may feel to yourself that you know what i'm serving god i'm doing everything that's required of me i'm trying to do my best and every time i make one step uh, I'm pulling back three more steps. And yes, it is uh, human to feel that way sometimes. You look at other people sometimes and you say, well, 
Why are they prospering? And I know they don't believe God. I know that they don't trust God. But this person, it seemed like they got everything. And this new word now is mega. It seemed like they got mega money, mega church, mega this, mega that. Seemed like they got bigger. It seemed like everything they put their hand onto is prospering. And you begin to doubt yourself. You begin to doubt the God in you. Like, what am I doing, God? Did you really tell me to do this? Am I really in the right place? Come on, somebody. But I want to just encourage you through the word of God. Again, Psalms 94 and verse 9 says, He that planted the ear, uh, had he not heard? Can he not hear? God hears everything. And one thing about it, payday coming after a while. When I was a little girl growing up, I would hear the older people say, payday coming after a while. So I want to encourage you, if you are doing the right thing, if you are living your life to uh, according to God's word, keep on doing the right thing because payday come after a while it seem it may seem like you are not getting nowhere right now but payday coming after a while even for the evil doers payday is still coming and one thing about god he has a mighty arm and he does not play and it is a sad thing the bible says that it is a sad thing to fall into the arm of an angry god yes it is it is a sad thing to fall into the arm of an angry God because God is all powerful. God can pay back the enemy. Hallelujah. God can avenge your enemies unlike you can do. God can avenge my enemies unlike I can do. God is all knowing. He's all powerful and he is all Hallelujah. He is all seeing. He's all knowing. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. The 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 wicked man, hallelujah, he is going to come down. He will fall. Those that plant deceitful uh, against, plant deceitful devices against the godly, hallelujah, they will fall. And I don't know, this is just really on my heart because anything that's on my heart, I know that it's something that God wants me to share with his people. It is somebody out there. It is some people out there. You're feeling some kind of way. You're serving God and you're feeling some kind of way because you're you're, you're saying to yourself, it seemed like what I'm doing doesn't matter. It seems like what I'm doing it's a matter but it seemed like these people here they ain't even paying god no attention they ain't even trying to live right come on but it seemed like they're getting everything god is becoming angry with the wicked every day god is becoming angry with the wicked every day and god is pulling the cover off of the wicked every day it's just that you don't see everything you don't know everything but god is dealing with people every day and perhaps there may be someone that's uh viewing me and you know that god has been dealing with you to mend your ways come on i don't think that god just pulled the cover off of people just like that i believe that god begin to deal with a man heart i begin i believe that god began to deal with a woman heart if you have a conscience the holy spirit will begin to tug on your heart god will begin to deal with your conscience to let you know to get it right and after you begin to ignore the lord just ignoring him as if he don't see as if he don't know as if he don't hear you hallelujah what you're doing and what you're saying and what you are participating in come on and that's when after you keep uh ignoring god and just refusing to do right that's when god you're going to see the strong arm of god uh-huh god is a loving god but he does have a strong arm and he is a god that answer by fire yes he does he answer by fire and for those of you 
that God has called, hallelujah, to lead his people. And you think that you're going to uh, do what you want to do, hallelujah, as if people don't see, as if God don't see, hallelujah. I welcome all the first time viewers, hallelujah. Those of you in leadership that is doing things that is not pleasing to God and you're supposed to be leading God's people, come on, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Uh, why do you feel that God will not deal with you? The Bible says judgment begins at the house of God. Judgment first begins at the house of God and with the leaders. Amen. Hallelujah. We cannot uh, do wrong, <laughs> throw rocks and hide our hand. No, no. We got to walk upright before the Lord. When you walk upright before the Lord, hallelujah, the Bible says that even your enemies will be at peace with you. Even your enemies have to be at peace with you. Come on, God is getting ready to judge like never ever before. And in fact, he is judging like never ever before. And then we got people saying, oh, you can't judge me. You can't judge me. What, what do you mean? that someone can't judge you according to the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. His people will judge the earth. Amen. Hallelujah. Your life has to line up. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Your life has to line up with the word of God. Come on, somebody. Right now, I ignore all, all comments that does not glorify God. All comments that don't even matter to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God with this nonsense about my hair. Glory be to God. For the Bible says a woman hair is her glory. Go and read that. Amen. I bind every devil, every witch, every warlock, every spirit that come to interrupt the word of God. I bind your powers. I cancel you and I send you back to the sender in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. If you are not here for the word, you can dismiss yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God always send warning before destruction. God always send warning before destruction. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God, he, uh, he created the eye. He created the ear. He's all-knowing. He's all-powerful. Can nobody get away with nothing? Apostle Proctor cannot get away with nothing. Amen. Hallelujah. Even if I try to slip, dip, and tip. Amen. Hallelujah. God sees everything. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So guess what, saints, and even the ain'ts, saints and ain'ts, hallelujah, get it together because the strong arm of God is getting ready to deal with some people. God is tired of the mess that is going on. Amen. People are falling away from the church. People are falling away from God. Hallelujah. Because Hallelujah. What is going on with those that are even in leadership? Amen. Hallelujah. God is getting tired of the wicked. And for those of you that are doing the right thing and you're looking, you're putting your eyes on other people and it seems like they are prospering. See, that's one of your problems right there. Don't put your eyes on somebody else. Amen. When you put in your eyes on somebody else, it's going to make you fall out of line and make you fall out of position with God. Continue to do that in which God require you to do. Continue to be who God has called you to be. Because, hallelujah, when your name is called, amen, there's going to be nobody there to stand with you. Hallelujah. You're going to have to stand alone. Good morning. God bless you from New Jersey. God bless you. You're going to have to stand before the Lord by yourself. We're going to have to stand before the Lord all by ourselves. Amen. We can't give it. Sorry for the noise. That's my uh, yard man out there. Uh, we're going to have to give an account to the Lord for ourselves. Amen. So don't get uh, weary when you see those, hallelujah, that's around you, uh, 
uh, it seemed like that they are prospering. Don't get weary. I just read for you, for those that are just coming in, go ahead and read Psalms 37. He say, fret not thyself because of evildoers. Neither be thou envious. Come on, somebody. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Why would I be envious against somebody that's working iniquity? And I hear the Lord say, hallelujah, take, keep on with your slow steps. Slow steps, amen. Keep with your slow steps. God say, as long as your slow, uh, slow steps are steady steps, you will make it. You will make it. As long as your slow steps are are steady steps is what I hear the heard the Lord just say you will make it don't be envious of the workers of iniquity because you got all kind of perpetrators out here today yes you even have perpetrators in the body of Christ they duplicate they I mean they cannot duplicate what God do they try to imitate but they cannot duplicate what God is doing. And so I don't know what your business is today. I have somebody that's fascinated with my hairstyle. Well, maybe uh, he's a hairstylist. Maybe he's a barber. So I don't know what kind of business you are in today. Maybe you are a cake baker. Maybe you work in a bakery. Maybe you're a supervisor. Maybe you're a manager. And maybe you feel like... Uh, your business is not prospering. Maybe you feel like you should have been the one, your name should have been the one to come up for a promotion, but it didn't. Come on, somebody. Well, God has an appointed time. God has an appointed time where he is going to showcase you. Yes, God has an appointed time, <coughs> excuse me, where he will showcase your gifting, where he will showcase your talent, amen, where he will display you before the world for his honor and for his glory. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So, no, we don't get envious of the man, hallelujah, that seemed like he bringing wicked devices to pass. For the Bible says, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither away. Come on, as green herb. He said, but trust in the Lord. How many people today are trusting in the Lord? When you trust in the Lord, amen, and do good, he says that you will inherit the land, amen. Hallelujah. When you trust in God, hallelujah, you will inherit the land. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. All you have to do is trust in the Lord. Trust him with your whole heart. He knows how to bring you out. He knows when he's going to put his mighty hand on the wicked. Uh-huh. God knows it. That's his business. We leave that up to him. We mind our business. Keep doing what God has called you to do. And God will deal with the wicked. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He said, trust in him and he shall bring it to pass and he shall bring forth thy righteousness. Amen. The Bible says he shall bring forth thy righteousness as light and thy judgment as the noonday. So who don't want to serve a God like that? That's going to bring forth your righteousness. Hallelujah. That's going to make you shine as the noonday. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So we got to get it right. We can't worry about the man that seemed like he's doing right, but we know that he is evil. <laughs> we know that God will take care of that person. We know that God will take care of those people, but it's our job to continue to walk up right before the Lord. And even for those preachers, keep on preaching holiness keep on preaching righteousness i don't care if you got 50 people i don't care if you got two people for the bible said where any two or three are gathered in his name there he is in the midst and watch god watch god pull down the wicked and he's doing it every day and even as we speak even as i speak 
God is exposing. Amen. It's not our job to expose. Hallelujah. But it is God's job to expose. Hallelujah. Have you read the book of Joel? Have you read the book of Peter? Amen. Hallelujah. For the person that asks about women. Amen. Do you know the history about women uh, keeping silent in the church? Do you know why that was said? Amen. Joel say in the last days, I will pour my spirit out on all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Come on. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Why would God call a woman as a prophet? Amen. And not allow her to speak. So I'm not here to uh, I'm not here to argue the word of God. I'm not here to debate the word of God. That is not my job. My job is to share the good news of the gospel. And so guess what? If you, if you, if I'm not the person for you, you move on to uh, the person that is for you. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible say, let every man work out his own soul salvation. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm here to do what God has called me, anointed me, appointed me, and authorized me to do, which is to speak the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. And so if this don't tickle you, amen, you, you know what you can do. Get to step it. Amen. Hallelujah. Get to step it. Hallelujah. Because I'm going to do what God has called me to do. Man didn't appoint me. Man didn't anoint me. <laughs> no, sir. I heard the voice of the Lord. Amen. The preacher didn't hear it for me. The prophet, the priest, the mother in the church, Karen Yvette, heard God say, speak my word. So I'm not going to uh, debate with you or uh, argue with you. That is not my point. I came to release the word of the Lord. And so for those of you that have not subscribed to my page uh, and feel that this is a page where you can partake of the word of God, go ahead and subscribe to the page. Hit the notification button. That way when I am on, you will be able to get the word of God. For the Bible say faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I come to build you up and not to tear you down. But I tell you what, the word of God is sharp and quick and powerful than any two-edged sword. And yes, it does cut. It cut down to the bone, to the marrow, to the dividing asunder. We're not going to always hear what we want to hear. That's, that's what's wrong with uh, a great deal of people today. I want to hear what I want to hear. No, no, no. You need to hear what God said. I'm not a politician. I am a, a preacher. I didn't come to please people. I came to speak the unadulterated word of God. And that's all I'm going to do is speak the word of God. Amen. And so if it prick you, say ow, because there is a healing bum. It will heal you. It'll cut you on one side and it'll heal you on the other side. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God hand is strong. Amen. And he's becoming weak, uh, angry with the wicked every day angry with the wicked every day and he do have hallelujah eyes and ears that he see hallelujah and he hear glory be to god and for every person that's putting up anything that's not like god let me let you know right now you came to the wrong uh, broadcast today baby because there is an anointing here today to cut <laughs> There is an anointing here to cut. And so you, you play with the things of God and you play with the people of God. But baby, this may sound, this may sound a little strong. Amen. But sometimes you, you will not even know who you are when you begin to play with the things of God and the people of God. Yes, God is a mercy for God, but there's a time when God become angry. There is a time when he becomes angry. Amen. And the Bible say, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Hallelujah. It's a dangerous thing to fall into the arms of God. And to answer your question, 
I am all woman from head to toe. And I don't play with silly people. I rebuke you in the name of the Lord Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Go somewhere and play with yourself. You, you ran into the wrong page today. Hallelujah. Like the Bible say, hallelujah, the wicked God will cut them down. You will look for them and you, will, you won't see them no more. You will look for the wicked and you won't see them no more. Yes, God have eyes. He see. He have ears and he can hear. And he see the foolishness you're doing and he hear the foolishness that you're doing. And you have entered into a judgment zone. Come on. God wants his people to get it right. Get it right or get left behind. No, God don't want us to play. Mm -mm. We can't play church. And I'm and by this, I'm talking to those that are the saints of God. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking to people that are not born again. And for those that are uh, not born again, I want to suggest to you today that you give your heart to the Lord. Hallelujah. Tomorrow is not promised to you. The next day is not promised to you. For the Lord God is a keeper. He is a sanctifier. Come on. He will sanctify you. Set you apart to live a life that's holy and pleasing unto him. Amen. Hallelujah. And some of us have been running around from person to person having itchy ears. And God is tired of that itchy ear spirit. Uh-uh. Hallelujah. And that's why some people are lost because they're running here. They're running there. They're, they're going about with every uh, wind of doctrine, blowing like the wind. It's time to become anchored in the Lord. Let your anchor grip the solid rock. And that solid rock is Jesus. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This is Apostle Karen Proctor. Thank you for uh, tuning in. Hallelujah. If you have not shared the broadcast with your friends, Go ahead and share it with your friends. Those of you that have been following me throughout this month of August, uh, you have probably heard me say that the Lord spoke to me and told me that this month is the month of overflow. And so we are yet in the uh, 22nd day of the month. And so I still believe God for the month uh, for the anointing of overflow, the anointing to overflow to you what you need amen if you need strength if you need the anointing of my strength revelation counsel to come upon your life i decree and declare it over you if you need the uh, uh overflow to come into your ministry as it pertains to finance as it pertains to souls or uh, uh, your business whatever it is if you need the overflow of peace and love and joy in your home come on even on your job i decree it rightfully so that the anointing of overflow is there that it will not be any lack amen that you will not lack that your cup will run over even with wisdom even when you're going to make decision that the lord will anoint you amen hallelujah to show you which way to go and i bind every uh, hindering spirit every force of darkness that come against the people of God and the things of God are binded in the name of Jesus and I loose the anointing of overflow 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 and some of you will come back and give testimony for the Lord say believe my word you shall be established believe my prophets and you shall prosper so God bless you beloved it was a pleasure sharing the word of God with you God bless you. I know it probably seemed like I was all over the place, but I want you to hear the key points that was for you. True to me and spit out the bones. If you have not connected with me, go to my website at www.apostlekarenproctor.com. If you want Christian counseling or coaching, or if you are looking for a speaker, Amen. For your revival, for your conferences, hallelujah, even uh, in, for your empowerment, empowerment speakers for your business, uh, go ahead and send a note on my website. Uh, if you're looking for good Christian books, you can go to my website as well. Beloved, God bless you and have a blessed day. And for all those that are coming in just now, 
go and watch the replay and some of you may have to watch it more than one time to build your faith up so god bless you beloved thank you for tuning in